Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Small Town Big Biz. Today, we are joined with the lovely Jen Hershner from the Nesting Place Bed and Breakfast. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Um, I would love for you to tell the audience like who you are and how you got started with the Nesting Place. Okay. Well, I'm, I was an occupational therapist for 30 years. Worked um, in the hospital, home health, the school system, and always had in the back of my mind it would be fun to have a bed and breakfast once my kids left our nest. Right. So after 30 years of doing therapy, I decided to retire, and the kids had all launched, and it was time to open up our home to do that. That's so So um, it's going on almost three years now. And I'm loving it. Yeah. yeah. What's so fun about you, just your family in general, right, is that, like, your husband is doing a very similar thing. He's like, I was a doctor. I am a doctor. Yeah. But I would like to own a brewery and a restaurant, you know? <laughs> it's kind Why of not? fun. Why not? Why <laughs> not? Right? And his food is amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. So that's really fun. So... What is your main, like, kind of mode of getting people in the bed and breakfast right now? Is it Airbnb? Do you do that? Yes, I'm on Airbnb, and then I also have a website, okay. so um, people can book that way, too. So do, is, do you so. find that they mostly come through Airbnb? Mostly through okay. Airbnb, yes. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure, because I know when I'm booking on Airbnb, it can be so hard because... You know, most people aren't looking for like a room in a house, but when they realize it's a bed and breakfast, I feel Uh like that would change people's minds. Mm -hmm. Do you struggle with that at all? Um, Because you can like filter, you know, like no rooms in houses, but maybe they don't know. Yeah, I do struggle with that Mm -hmm. sometimes. Okay. Because that's Mm -hmm. something I thought of was like, I feel like, because I always toggle it off. I don't want to stay in somebody else's house. You know what I mean? Right. But if it's bed and breakfast, my mind would change. Yeah, it seems to be a different group of people that Mm -hmm. would stay at a bed and breakfast versus the Holiday Inn. Yes. You know, they they want to get to know people. They want... They want to know some locals. A lot of times people are looking for land or to Mm -hmm. buy a house in the area. So it's kind of a good way to open the door to get to know people in Ashe County and get the ins and outs. Yeah, that's super fun. And uh, also I get a lot of young couples that are looking for wedding venues. Mm. So they want some scoop. They want to talk to somebody. Gotcha. Gotcha. That is so fun. It is a lot of fun. Oh, my goodness. So I don't know if you... Do you watch Gilmore Girls or have you ever watched Gilmore Girls? I've I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. Okay. Well, they have have an inn, and so it's kind of like a bed and breakfast, and so that's what it reminds me of all the time. But they go to a bed and breakfast in one of the episodes, and it's like this hysterical bed and breakfast that's like all decorated like crazy, you know? (laughs) And they're like, this is weird. We've got to get out of here. But it's so fun. Um, (laughs) So you were in my class the other night. And so Mm -hmm. your original kind of quote unquote struggle was, you know, really getting social media like to, to be a thing to where people found you. Yes. But I wonder if there's maybe another struggle that you have that we could talk about. Whereas after the other night, I feel Mm -hmm. like we kind of answered a little bit Mm -hmm. and you might have like extra questions now. So I'll let you take that away. Well, one take home from your class the other night, um, was that you mentioned posts should not be more than, um, 20% about your actual product, Mm -hmm. but the story behind the product. Yeah. And so I struggle with that a little bit. I struggle with putting myself out there and what kind of story, (laughs) what would people even want to know? Right. You know, what, what would be helpful there? Yeah. Okay. So it really is like the, the people, right? The people. And, and you're going to make them feel more comfortable when they know who they're going to see when they show up too, right? Because especially your business, like they're going to see you, you know, like yeah. it's, you're like literally in the house. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So True. I feel like um, really anything, but starting off with maybe a photo of your entire family. And it's like the story of how this came to be, just like you told us in the intro, right? Like mm-hmm. I really thought this idea was fun. And once my kids left the nest, I felt mm-hmm. like I could do this. So Mm -hmm. just really that part of the story, um, showing behind the scenes of the bed and breakfast itself. So I could see you, you know, you don't have to show faces and things like that because obviously the guests probably don't want that to happen, you know, but you could show, um, a photo of like people lined up for breakfast or like, 
whatever, you know, right. whatever it might be. Um, to, to kind of, and you can even ask permission, like, hey, can we share this on our social media? You know, okay, that's um, a good idea. Super easy to do. You know, snap it yeah. and then be like, can I share this? Um, right. Most people are going to be like, yes. And an added benefit is like, are you on Instagram or are you on Facebook? Like whatever the platform might be. And I know for mm-hmm. you, we talked about Instagram. Mm-hmm. So are you on Instagram? And mm-hmm. if they are, then you can tag them. They'll share it with their friends. It ends up being very much so oh, that's an great. added benefit. So it kind of grows. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And odds are you don't really even know who you have there, right? Like. Right. It's not like when I go book a hotel, I'm like, I have 100,000 YouTube subscribers. You know what I mean? Like, right. It, like, nobody cares, but mm-hmm. they might care, you know? Right. And so you may have somebody there who's like an influencer on Instagram, and you never even knew it, wow. you know, until you had that moment happen. Yeah. So I think telling the story behind you and the, the family in general, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be you. It can just be the family. It can be the story of how y'all even got to Warrensville, how, how mm-hmm. the house happened, like anything like that. Okay. Anything behind the scenes. But then yeah. also the behind the scenes of the actual inner workings of the bed and breakfast. Right. So you might even show, um, you know, what it's like for like to prep breakfast or mm-hmm. what it's like to get the rooms ready. Um, you can show things like that. That's, That's really going to get people involved because they're yeah. like, look how much care she takes. Right. There's a lot of detail. Yeah. A lot of cleaning and sanitizing exactly especially <laughs> like, now right yeah. you know and that's that really attracts people they're like okay got it you know yeah. um but the the story really also comes in the day-to-day and mm-hmm. so we talked the other night about instagram stories versus reels versus posts and it's a lot to keep up with right and i know that you know but the stories are those things that expire in 24 hours mm-hmm. and they're the things where you can easily like just like get a clip of you doing something while you're doing it. Like it's mm-hmm. n- no pressure. You know what I mean? It doesn't have right. to be pretty. It doesn't have to be anything. Right. Um, it just needs to be a behind the scenes kind of situation. Okay. So I think like removing the expectation that it has to be this big, like exaggerated story or that it has to be, you know, right. like this massive thing. Cause that's mm-hmm. not it at all. It just needs to be, who are you? Yeah. And why are they going to care? Right. Because once they feel like they're family, they're going to come back over and over and over again, you know? True. And you can incorporate that into your Airbnb listing too, you know? Okay. You can really like write up a good story with the description and, you know, really make people feel like, wow, okay, mm-hmm. I want to stay here, you know? Right. Um, I, I tell people all the time, because we don't think about marketing when it comes to something like a listing or even like a GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. One time I wrote a GoFundMe for a friend of mine and a bunch of people were like, like just the writing on it made me want to donate. You know, like I told the story that well. Mm -hmm. And it's because I have such a marketing background. Mm -hmm. I know what people need to hear, you know? Mm -hmm. The same with an Airbnb listing. Mm -hmm. Like where are they now? Where are they when they're looking Mm -hmm. for a room a house, like whatever they're looking for on Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Who are those people? And I know during our class, you were like, they're adventurous young couples usually. Um, Like you say, there's people who are looking to relocate. There's people, like all of Mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. So how can you encapsulate that in like part of your description calls them out and says, you are like, if you're looking for, you know, a great place to like whatever, you know, calls them out on who they are. Mm -hmm. And then within the description, like makes them realize who they'll be or what experience they'll have when they're there. That will, I think you'll see a massive increase there. That makes sense. Because then it's like, you are here, you're an adventurous couple, you're whatever you wanted to say, right? And then through the description, they start to realize, well, this is the perfect place for me because she's going to like, help me find trails to hike. They're going to, you know, all of these things that are probably already things you do, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. and that's what they need to hear. So really telling that story in the description, I think will, will be massive too. And even showing behind the scenes on your Airbnb listing. So like a full dining room, uh, you know, guests checking in and out, like whatever mm-hmm. that might be, yeah. it's going to help them feel like, oh, there's no questions, mm-hmm. you know, when I'm looking yeah. at this. You want to answer as many questions as possible just in your listing, and that way people don't hesitate, you right. know. Because I know for me, and this may be a millennial, millennial thing, 
But for me, if I have a question that I can't find on the listing, I'll just move on to something else. Mm -hmm. I'm likely not going to reach out. Mm -hmm. So the amount of people who reach out, think about the amount of people who are dipping out because they had a question that they didn't want to ask. Yeah, you know? I never thought about that. So answer as much as you can yeah. in that okay. listing. Yeah. Um, and then also, do you have it listed as renting a room? On Airbnb, each room is listed separately. And it's listed mm -hmm. as like a room in a house, yes. right? A private mm -hmm. room or however they list yes. that. Can you list it as a house on Airbnb? Like list the house and then it comes up and like when they search for houses only... They can see the room, but it's in a house. Does that make sense? Or is that against their terms and conditions? I probably could do that, but we still live there. Right. So the only thing is, like, the kitchen is not is not really part of the package. Right. So I think maybe if people were looking for a house, they would expect that they're going to get the whole yes, thing. Yes, they probably you know, would. That yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, is there... I'm just trying to think of like other yeah. ways you can like get in front of people who, right. who wouldn't normally rent a room, mm -hmm. but in an Airbnb, they or I'm sorry, in a bed and breakfast, they mm -hmm. would rent a room, mm -hmm. you know, because that was, yes. that would be me. I wouldn't normally rent a room in somebody's house. Right. But if I know that it's a bed and breakfast, right. my opinion completely changes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just trying to think and, through that. And I think also you brought up a good point and I never really thought about people being a little bit nervous about, you know, from their standpoint coming into her house, mm -hmm. what are they going to be dealing with? What are yes. they going to see? So trying to show what the check-in process is like. Yes. Like on Airbnb, um, they can self-check in. And yeah. I'm available, but they don't have to interact with me at all if they don't want to. So right. I really should explain that. You should. You know? And I I talk about this with like doctor's offices or yeah. chiropractors or really anything where people might have a little bit of like reservation to right. even get there. Yeah. So like if you can remove that before they even have to get there, that's massive. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, and I'm sure you already know this, one, based off your kids, but two, based off like user behavior of the people who've stayed there. Millennials. So if you're looking at the age group, I think you are, because we mm -hmm. said like 40 and younger, I mm -hmm. think. Pretty much. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we're looking at that, they don't want to talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk on the phone. They want right. a text option. They want to be able to message, like really incorporating that, knowing that that's who you're attracting, you right. know? So if there's a way for them to like text a number yes. or do you have that already? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. So I think even making that really clear on the Airbnb mm -hmm. listing, you know? I should do that. Yeah. Because again, I don't like to call places. Yeah. Like I don't right. know what it is. I don't know. I think we just grew up in this like weird time where mm -hmm. calling was totally normal mm -hmm. until I was a teenager mm -hmm. and then it wasn't. Yeah. And then everybody started texting yeah. an older it's teenager. Convenient. Yeah. And so I think that if you can remove that barrier, it's massive. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I think a lot of times people don't think about their ideal client and how they will communicate because right. it's usually not the same as us. So for example, I, um, I'm wanting, I have been looking at places to get myself and one of my sons evaluated for ADHD. And mainly because he needs to be evaluated, but I know I have it too. So I'm like, I might as well too. <laughs> and all these places are like wanting me to call them or wanting me to fill out this really long form. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, if I have ADHD, <laughs> in what world am I going to sit there and fill out a really long form, you know? Right. So like really knowing our audience is massive. And that's at our class the other night, I was like, we have to know this person because their behaviors are so different. You know, like you probably wouldn't hesitate at all to call somewhere. Like that's not mm -hmm. a weird thing for you. Right. But for a millennial, it mm -hmm. is very weird. It's like a, we don't, we try and avoid it as much as possible. You know? Yeah. Very strange, very strange characteristic of a generation, <laughs> but it is a real that's thing, true, yes. you know? Um, so yeah, like really making sure that you answer all of that there. And then on your social medias, just show behind the scenes, list all your social medias on the Airbnb listing. I don't know if you have that already. I don't. Yeah. See, that's okay. perfect because then okay. I know for me, if I see a listing and then it has a 
like an uh, Instagram or whatever, I immediately go check out their Instagram because one, obviously I can see behind the scenes a little bit more. And mm-hmm. sometimes, especially on Airbnb, the pictures are not the full picture, right? You know, yeah. um, I've stayed in some Airbnbs where it looked great <laughs> until I got there. <laughs> and I know that's not the case for you, but people worry about that, sure. you know? So if they can go to a social media where they can actually see what you're putting out, but also they can see where other people have tagged you. So then they can like toggle on that option and see like, oh, this person tagged them and that's beautiful. Okay. That like eliminates more reservations I had. Let me just go ahead and book it. So if you can connect all of those pieces, like Instagram to Airbnb, the story to everything, Mm -hmm. I think you'll win. And even make something I thought of, thought of for you the other night that I just didn't have time to like vocalize was, you know, making an incentive program or not even, it doesn't even have to be incentivized because we naturally share our lives on social media, Mm -hmm. the age group you're going after. And so it's like making a way for it to be easy for them. So an example would be a chalkboard set up in your like where they enter or where they check in Mm -hmm. or like even in their rooms Mm -hmm. that's like tag us on Instagram. They could even have a special hashtag that they could use, like hashtag the nesting place or like whatever it could be, you know? And that way when they're using social media, you're getting more content because you can repost that. You know, so you can repost that they're tagging you. It's easy for you to find. Then you're not having to come up with as many ideas Mm -hmm. and it's just like furthering the circle because they have friends that have friends that have friends that have friends, you know? So I would really encourage that. I would very much so encourage that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you, do you have like a booklet or like a something that tells them like the hiking places or Anything like that? I currently? have like a um, chalkboard mm-hmm. in our uh, dining area that has a bunch of that stuff listed out. Perfect. I have a little um, brochure area in our den, but that's kind of old school. Right. <laughs> nobody really does that, or the younger ones don't. Yes. Now, the older guests will come in and grab those and look through those. But like you said, I'm getting more of a younger crowd. Yes. So I yeah. need to get away from that. Yeah. And you could even have in their rooms. So, so Laura and I've had this conversation many a times. So QR codes, you know what a QR code is? Do you have an example of one of those anywhere that you know of? Um, so let me find one here. I I know I can find one for you, but they're eventually, they're essentially like a, a barcode. Okay. But they're digital. Well, they're usually not digital, but you use them digitally. So let me just show you what this looks like. So they Mm. look like that. Yes. So you can, QR codes are really easy to make. You can literally just Google like QR code generator or something like that. Okay. And it generally goes to a website or a social media. It can go to any URL on the internet. So basically this is just a shortcut for someone to go to like a long.com. So if your .com is like the nesting place bed and breakfast.com and then you'd want to do like places or things to do or like whatever, that's a really long URL and nobody's going to sit there and type that in. But you can tell them, scan this, and when they scan it, it pops up on their phone automatically going to that website. Oh, that's cool. So you could have, like, little cards or, like, things on their bedside table or something that has something like that. It could have that. It could have your Instagram handle. It could have something that directs them to a place where it's, like, looking for things to do. We've listed all of this out for you. And you could have it broken out. It could be a page on your website. It could be an image mm-hmm. on Facebook. It doesn't have to be hard. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? My point in saying that is it doesn't have to be hard. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to think you have to, like, hire a web designer to create this big page. Right. Super easy, you know? Yeah. And send them there with one of those or something that then they can say, oh, well, here's all the hiking places. Here's all the wineries. Here's all the this. Here's all the that. Yeah. Here's where to get groceries. Because I think a lot of times, you know, people especially people coming from the city, they're very used to being able to get groceries anywhere. True. Within a mile. Yeah. You know? And even in Warrensville, if you go to the Dollar General, you're still a few miles away, (laughs) you know? And then if you go to the Walmart, you're even further away. (laughs) So I think it's, I think just making things really easy and and really targeting those people who are coming, you know? And less targeting maybe who you thought would come, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. because sometimes our ideal client changes when we're open and we're ready, you know, right. We may think like, oh, it's people like me or 
it's this or it's that. Mm-hmm. And then when it happens, it's not at all what mm-hmm. you expected it to be, you know? And I'd say that was probably the case for you, wasn't yes, it? That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just really like figuring out, and you have kids that can help you figure this out, yes. right? Figuring out what is going through the mind of the people who are coming to stay. Mm-hmm. And it's like what things to do, easy mm-hmm. ways to figure out things to do, not trying mm-hmm. to like dig through a bunch of papers or brochures because yes. they're not going to do it, right. you know? Um, and you know, really bringing that story in everywhere and Mm -hmm. making it really easy for them to not have any boundaries, not have any barriers that would cause them to say, no, I don't want to do this, or I'm afraid to do this. So knocking Mm -hmm. down those uh, barriers would be great. I love that. Yeah. Does that help? Um, Yes, it does so much. (laughs) So many things I've never thought about. Good. I'm glad. Well, I would love for you to tell the listeners where they can find you and find out more about The Nesting Place. Well, they can go on the web to the Nesting Place Bed and Breakfast. I'm also um, at Airbnb, Mm -hmm. listed as that as well. And then um, three different rooms are listed under that. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah.